Hey everyone, a very good noon to all of you. I am Nikita. I hope I am visible and audible. Please let me know so that we can begin. And I welcome you to this session, Prep for Prepositions. So we, this is our ongoing series, Grammar Capsule. Yesterday we discussed tenses. Today we are going to focus on prepositions. Okay. All right then. Let's see, give me a hi, hello, so that I know that I can begin. As you know, we proceed through questions, we learn through questions. So today also we'll do the same. We'll look at some questions on prepositions and then see that which preposition fits in which context. Okay. Good, good noon, Ashmita. Good noon. All right. Okay. So I have a mix of fill in the blank questions, error spotting questions and some find the correct sentence questions for you. And through these, we are going to see which prepositions come where, right? So let's have a look at this. Uh, tell me what the answer should be and uh, why. Yes, tell me that as well. Good noon, Priyanshi. Okay, a good question from Rishikesh. Rishikesh is asking, what are prepositions? So, see this. All of us, we know that on is a preposition, in is a preposition. But what exactly does the word mean? Right? So, let's break it. Pre-position. That means positioned before something. Placed before something. So, what are prepositions placed before? When we say... The cat sat under the table. When we say that, uh, a lot of students think that we call under a preposition because it's a position word. It is showing a position. But that's not necessary. See, a preposition can be, uh, for instance, regarding is a preposition. Notwithstanding is a preposition. Right? So, these don't show position relationships. When I say notwithstanding, when I say regarding. So, this is a misconception that a preposition is a position word. Okay. It is rather placed before something. And that is why it is, a, it is called a preposition. So, what is it placed before? It is usually placed before a noun or a pronoun. So, here the noun is table. And this preposition under is showing the relationship of table with the cat. How are the two related? So, a preposition is a word that comes before a noun or a pronoun and establishes the relationship of that noun or pronoun with the rest of the sentence. That is the definition of a preposition. And this noun or pronoun that usually comes after the preposition is called the object of the preposition. Object of the preposition. Okay. So, here table is the object of this preposition under. Okay. All right. So, I hope the definition is clear to you. Examples you already know on, in, under, at. Right. These are examples of prepositions and uh, we will talk more about this. Okay. We'll look at uh, some prepositions through the context in which they are used because prepositions uh, a lot of times they are a result of conventions, customs. So, certain people started using prepositions in, in a certain way and that usage has been going on. So, uh, that's why Sometimes you might feel, oh, this does not look logical, but then that is how it is. There are certain prepositions that are used before certain nouns, that are used after certain verbs. This is how it is. It's a matter of usage, convention, custom. Okay. So, I've got some responses already. What about others? <coughs> what should be the answer to this? Just four responses. Is that it? Should I start discussing? What about others? Yes, yeah, 16 students I can see. So, what about others? The youngster's innings propelled his team. 
propelled is an important word here propelled his team dash a 14 run win so his innings okay or her in her innings no his team okay so his innings propelled his team dash a 14 run win that's that's how many runs they won by okay uh, one from then dash lucknow super giants okay so this is the other team in the picture right so those who say b absolutely correct you always propel something to a particular place okay so propel something to a particular place a position so here we'll use to always so propel his team to a 14 run win and when you win over so when you win so let's say there are two teams in the mix the winning team wins over the team that is defeated okay the losing team so that's why it has to be b no other preposition will make sense here all right so this is how it is right this is how uh, the construction is we propel something to a particular place okay we make it reach that place and we always win over someone all right now have a look at this error spotting question tell me what the answer should be and i want more responses yes All right, let's see what you say. A very simple short question, isn't it? See, I've got my first response. Others? Okay. So, Aman, Yogita, Priyanshi, Jeez, Ravi, Teja. Okay, Achha, Ravi Teja says 2. Okay, all right. Otherwise, most of you say C. Okay, why? Why C? Why 3? Give me the error also and give me the correction as well. Yes, let's see what you say. Waiting for your response. Tell me why C? What should be the correction? You are absolutely correct. C is the answer. Now, it is the difference between among and amid that makes this sentence erroneous, that makes C erroneous. See, among is used when I am talking about being one among some people, right? So, let's say I am one of those people. So, I am among them. Then it is also used in the case of distribution. We distribute something among people. But here he was not, uh, let's say, he was not one of the rumors, so to say. He was in the middle of rumors. So he resigned in the middle of rumors. That's what we want to say. And the preposition for that is amid. Okay. And not among. Absolutely correct. C is our answer here. All right. So, I hope the difference is clear to you amid and among and among is used when I am talking about being one of the people distributing something among people, right? That's how I can put it. Okay. Now, what about this one? Fill in the blank. Let's see. All right. Let's see who answers the fastest. Come on. Ashmita has answered the fastest. She says A. Par says C. All right. 
अदर्स जल्दी जल्दी बताओ यस yes. सो प्रेपोजिशन क्वेश्चन आर हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू ओके स्पेशली फॉर योर ओमेट्स ऑल योर अदर मैनेजमेंट एंट्रेंस टेस्ट बी इट एन मैट बी इट स्नैप ओके बी इट इवन आई एफ टी जैट एंड नाउ आई थिंक सी मैट इज द एग्जाम अराउंड द कॉर्नर सो so you can check your previous year papers of all these exams and you will see in one or the other year they have specifically asked questions on prepositions okay so preposition based fill in the blanks are a very popular choice with the examiners of omets and that's why i am giving you more and more fill in the blanks today okay so i expect more answers from you so a c all right let's have a look it's a versus c in the chat box the company lost business now before this expression the tune of when we say the tune of 2000 crores that means approximately 2000 crores so before this we always use the preposition to it's an expression it's a phrase to the tune of something so we usually give the amount of that thing here so the company lost business to the extent of 2000 crores following disruptions so disruptions always happen in something okay so disruptions in the global supply chain all right so kisi cheez mein disruptions hoti hain right so that's why in and it's all the expression the phrase is to the tune of which means to the extent of approximately etc okay so a is our answer and not c okay let's have a look at another error spotting question this time i've just written it a little differently otherwise the concept is the same let's see who answers the fastest here okay hmm okay <clears throat> let's see jayvardhan says b ajinkya did you say b for this one itself others okay aman vartika b ajinkya a all right so ajinkya what's wrong with a is it because of a the All right. Charge no as PM. You take charge as a particular position, a title. Okay, so this is the name of your responsibility. He took charge as Prime Minister. Okay, so after taking charge as PM, Miss X apprised the citizens. The error is in C. Excellent. Ravi Teja, C. So, uh, Ravi, what should we replace it with? A prize of. Now, see, I told you that prepositions they are a matter of convention usage. So, the verb a prize is always followed by the preposition of. You a prize someone. You a prize someone of something. Okay. So. <coughs> it means to <clears throat> inform them of something okay inform them about something so a prize is always followed by of no other preposition can come here that's why regarding is incorrect okay not about of okay a prize of all right so remember this a prize of to the tune of right then there amid rumors so you have to remember these things and that's why you know a long term way of learning prepositions is through reading the more you read the more you are exposed to such expressions okay so for instance i never looked up the dictionary to see that it is to the tune of i read it at certain places i read it time and again and that's how i know that it is to the tune of 
right so same will happen with you as well and for dedicated practice because we want to while you know reading is a long term thing we want some short term practice some dedicated practice as well so for that you should practice vocabulary based fill in the blanks you will find them in ample number in the grammar book ren and martin okay so in the chapter on prepositions there are quite a few fill in the blanks and other question types also on prepositions attempt them okay okay now what about this one fill in the blanks now the, this time you have three three blanks let's see what you say I have got one response. Aman says C. What about others? Okay. All right. C maybe. Okay. Now, um, I think uh, third is again a phrase, an expression which is fixed in its usage right so we say something is steeped in history and it makes sense also see just like we when we say propel propel means that something is moving at a higher level so you will always propel it to a particular location right to similarly when we say to the tune of it means to the extent of so it's not that they are completely logical right similarly steep so in case you drink green teas you know we have to steep the tea Right, when we steep the tea, we usually put the tea back in water. That's what we do. So, here we are trying to say that it is steeped in history, soaked in history. That's what it's an it's a poetic expression here. I want to say that it is full of let's say monuments, full of uh, places that are historically important, okay, or probably culturally it's that way that people follow some historical traditions there. So, steeped in history. Okay, so I want to say that it is soaked in history. Now, the moment you realize this, you know that your answer is C. Good. Situated at one of London's most historically important addresses, the old war office originally completed. Now, this has to be in. When we talk about a year, okay, this happened in 1947, in 1906. So, I think that's why B and D should have been eliminated right away. And this is at, in both the cases, this is at here, situated at. So, at versus in, that is what some of you must be thinking right now. Let's see. At is the preposition of a point. In is the preposition of area. Right? So, when I talk about an address, I am talking about a specific location. Okay? So, I live at 13 Baker Street, right? So, at, whenever I talk about an address, I use at and not in. Whereas, I would say, I live in Delhi, I live in Bangalore, I live in Odisha, right? So, in is used for areas, okay? Hope this is clear. Why not by, situated by, okay? Uh, by would mean as if it's near, okay? And not really at that particular location. Okay, situated by is that it is situated near. All right, hence C. Okay, let's see. This is a sentence correction. I mean, you have to spot the correct sentence here. One sentence has been written in four different ways. Tell me which is the correct one. Yes, here you can find many errors in this question. Let's see who does it the fastest.
Okay. Let's see. Okay, I've got three beans, and Aman answered the fastest. All right. Then others also say B. So while the government see in such questions, try that you read vertically. So when I read vertically, let's say I I read this phrase in all the four. Okay, and I realized, sorry, that these are different here. Okay, so one and A and B try to give a contrast. B also gives a contrast. As is usually used for reasons, right? Okay. Then I say with the IMF, with the IMF, that is the same. But here there's a difference. This is yet are and this is are yet. So what is the correct placement? Yet are or are yet? It is are yet to conclude and not yet are. So at this juncture, A gets eliminated. Okay. Then the World Bank has ruled out makes sense. But the World Bank itself has been ruled out. Okay. So it's not like the World Bank was participating uh, in something, in some vote and let's say it has been ruled out by some other authority. That is when it would make sense. If let's say it was voting or it, it said something and then the other party ruled it out. Then we would say that World Bank has been ruled out. But here World Bank is saying something. So it's B versus D. Now, uh, if you see here in D, this is yet the World Bank. Whereas here, uh, there is no yet here yet is here okay and though and yet together do not make sense the moment you say though the contrast is there you need not use at yet there so this becomes redundant and that's why this because this yet is redundant we eliminate this okay moreover see my point was also to explain this these prepositions to you we provide assistance to someone Okay, so because the World, World Bank would provide assistance, okay, so assistance to Sri Lanka and that's why B should be the answer, not assistance for, not assistance from, they don't make sense. Okay. All right, I hope this is clear. Any queries so far, please ask. Okay, then look at this question, error spotting again. Parth has answered the fastest. Okay, others. Aman, Ajinkya, you say 4, D. All right. Why D? Kishan also says D. All right. Quite a few Ds here. Yes, but why? That's my question. Give me the correction also. Okay, let's see what you say. I want the correction from you. Okay, you people are a little lazy it seems. Yes. See this, you are right, D is the erroneous part, but uh, probably some of you thought that instead of long grass, it should be tall grass, but the thing is both are correct, okay? So that's not the error here. The error is again in the preposition. It should be through, absolutely correct, Ajinkya, okay? So it should be through. See, across and through, both are prepositions of movement. They show movement, isn't it? But across is used... <clears throat> for two dimensional things so for field let's say for a ground we walk across a ground we are treating it as a surface as a two dimensional thing right 
सो वी वॉक अक्रॉस अ ग्राउंड यू कुड इवन वॉक अक्रॉस अ पार्क इन योर नेबरहुड बट द मोमेंट वी टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स दैट आर ग्रोइंग राइट सो टॉल ग्रास देन यू हैव टू वॉक थ्रू इट ओके देन इट बिकम्स अ थ्री डिमेंशनल थिंग इट इज नो लॉन्गर टू डिमेंशनल इट बिकम्स अ थ्री डिमेंशनल थिंग एंड नाउ यू वॉक through it and not across it across for surfaces through for areas it's as simple as that okay through for areas across for surfaces and both indicate movement so through to, uh, through long grass or through tall grass d is the answer okay all right then let's have a look at another fill in the blank question three prepositions what is the government looking dash tell me so here's a actually there's a phrase this is a question that has a phrasal verb in it right <clears throat> let me see how many of you answer correctly and then i'll explain the concept of phrasal verbs okay c b all right what about others b okay all right so we seem to be confused between these two but uh, most of you have said b anybody else come on thodi se zyada responses guys there are let me just check how many people in the session right now okay i can't see it immediately but i want more responses otherwise it becomes a one way street yes so uh this here is a phrasal verb what is a phrasal verb a verb plus a preposition or an adverb a verb plus a preposition or an adverb right so here we have looking as the verb and i want to say that the government is considering this the government is thinking carefully about this right so the government is looking at look for means to search something to try to find something that is what look for means so that's why this is not correct here okay then there is look up to when you look up to someone when you look up to someone that means you consider them your role model right you look you are respectful towards them so then we look forward to something when we look forward to something we are excited about it right we want to carry it forward then b is the answer here so the government is looking at it is considering what the provision of more railway racks okay the provision of the was missing here at the provision of more railway racks so it is looking at this proposal that we should provide more railway racks as an option i think it should be tracks it should be tracks not racks as an option to costlier road transport right so that's an alternative it's an alternative to something right alternative is always followed by to so here option has been used as an alternative right and provision of something so that is why this provision is the noun form of provide provision is the noun form of provide so the government is looking at the provision of more railway tracks as an option to costlier road transport sorry for the typos in this one right b is the answer okay all right then let's come to this one i hope you'll remember look for look at look forward to look up to let's see this error spotting question
what do you say so there are multiple choices here yes all could be erroneous the first three fragments could be erroneous okay b c all right although the question concerned only the two communities it can be extended to the entire modern world so two to the entire modern world so that was my first clue that either c or a is the answer then this still does not fit here because still is not modifying it right you can place it here it can still be extended if you want to keep this still you can put it here although the question concerned only the two communities it can still be extended this placement would be okay and you can even delete it okay uh, the although gives a contrast already so still is fine but you can even delete it so it can be extended to the entire modern world c is our answer here okay great those who said c if anything is not clear again i'm saying you can ask me okay if you have any confusion in any prepositions you can ask that too today right yesterday we discussed in versus into on versus on to so any such confusions i can clarify for you let's have a look at this fill in the blank question yes so the two of the options have no word required also this time okay see again so aplomb yes what does this mean aplomb the b is silent here when you carry something with aplomb you carry it with a lot of confidence right so self confidence is what the word means <clears throat> so he carried the additional responsibility with aplomb i need a with here that means either b or c okay now instead dash getting pulled down by something so by is the preposition of agency it shows the agent or the doer of the action so here the leadership pressure leadership pressure was the one trying to pull him down no so the leadership pressure was the agent was the doer so instead of getting pulled down by leadership pressure he carried the additional responsibility with aplomb right so c is going to be the answer here perfect those who answered okay error spotting yes The foundations will have to be reinforced to prevent the house to sink further into the ground. What do we say? okay so you said d delhi all of you okay correct to prevent the house from sinking further isn't it from sinking further into the ground we prevent something from happening we prevent x y z from happening and here i need a gerund from sinking 
राइट वॉट इज अ जेरेंड एनी वन आई सेट दैट वी नीड अ जेरेंड हियर दिस इज नॉट अ वर्ब माइंड यू दिस इज नॉट अ वर्ब See, I told you prepositions are followed by nouns or pronouns, and these nouns or pronouns are called the object of the preposition. So here, sinking is a noun, and it is the object of the preposition from. Okay, so why is sinking a gerund here? Because a verb plus ing, when they act as a noun and not as a verb, they are called a gerund. So if you ask the question from what? from what you get the answer sinking and nouns are the words that answer the question what okay so that's why it's going to be four now any idea why it is called the object of the preposition i could have called it the subject of the preposition also but why the object yes so see um the object it is something that is governed by another word so for instance the object of the verb when i say uh, let's say riya hugged him so we say him here we don't say he here why we this him is decided by what because this is the object of this verb the verb governs it that okay you are going to receive my action and because you are going to receive it you will have to take him you can't take he so this word is being governed by the verb and that's why we call it the object of the verb similarly the object of the preposition is governed by it right so for instance when we say this matter should stay between us this matter should stay should stay between us now see this between is the preposition here and we say us we don't say we why because the object is being governed by the preposition so the preposition says see we can't write we here we have to write us here and that's why it is us the objective pronoun and not the subjective pronoun right so that's why it's called the object of the preposition and this is its impact that's what i wanted to clarify to you between us hota hai between we nahi hota hai okay all right then let's have a look at this question okay tell me what the answer should be here and yes i have to tell you the difference between between and among and remind me of that also what should be the answer to this it is advised to pack one's diet by nutrients that are necessary for good hair health and growth is the spelling of advised correct here or is this correct b bangalore is what saurabh says okay the spelling of advised is absolutely fine when we want to use advise as a verb we use se here it is a verb it is going to take se this is used only when i need the noun advise okay so there is nothing like advised this is a noun this is a verb so no error there one is fine okay advised is wrong cd is wrong advice is a noun she gave me a piece of advice okay a piece of advice this spelling she advised me this spelling she advises me when i use it as an as a verb it has to be se only okay so it is advised to pack one's diet by nutrients that are necessary what is the error come on what has happened to you this is an easy question make a guess there's no negative marking right now no i want you to make a guess
करेक्ट सौरभ एब्सोल्यूटली पैक वन डाइट विद न्यूट्रिय ओके इट विल नॉट बी बाय इट बी विद न्यूट्रिय we pack something with something else so that's why uh, this here by this by here is incorrect and hence the answer is 2 now i wanted to discuss between and among when we were discussing amid amid versus among but i forgot it so what is the difference yes let's see who tells this to me the most accurately the difference between between and among good see most of you said two in this one what about between versus among what should i write here between or among tell me between is for two people among is for more than two people that's what we have been told uh, during our childhood yes so uh, there is a meeting two entities so it should be between you are absolutely right in saying that but that's an incomplete rule between is used for two among is used for more than two you are right but between is also used for more than two when the entities are distinct okay whereas among is used for more than two when the entities are not distinct what do we mean by that so for instance let me add a third party here between the parents the teachers and the students and the students now there are three parties so in your opinion should it be among or between three parties so as per the rule that we have been told during our childhood it should be among but that would be incorrect these three parties have been distinctly named parents teachers students so we should use between that is why you know in your exam also the instruction say choose between a b c and d they never say choose among a b c and d because i am naming the options very distinctly whereas you must have seen again if you notice the instructions choose among the four options choose among the four options why among the four options because now i haven't distinctly named them okay so this is the difference between between and among between is used for more than two entities also when they are distinctly named okay so parents teacher students distinctly named a b c and d distinctly named and when they are not distinct so let's say among the three parties among the four options then we use among so far so good everyone is clear with this any queries please ask okay then so i'm assuming things are clear to you this is it from my end today this is a list of our cat 22 toppers right it's not an exhaustive list there are many more and if you want to be among them then we have a course for you cat 2023 comprehensive program as you can see there are so many features in this right along with assistance for the next stage as well and in order to make this course accessible for you we have a scholarship if you perform well in this scholarship test that is going to happen on the first at 7 pm you can get up to a 90% scholarship and see so many students have availed scholarships worth rupees 1 crore not each okay all right and in case you are confused about how to manage your prep with job and studies whatever you are doing then in that case you can watch this you can attend this workshop on the 4th and this will happen at 7 pm you have to register for it in advance okay also uh in case you are thinking okay where from where should i practice where can i get questions grammar based questions vocabulary based questions then we have launched a section wise quiz for you on our app so every day you'll see some quiz questions they can be from any section right so let's say on one day it's vrc on another it could be dilr also and the idea is to make you make you acquainted with some areas of these topics and to make you practice questions so you can download the app okay 
welcome ajinkya welcome i'm glad you liked it and uh, in case you did yes please press the like button do subscribe to our channel you know the name of the channel you are on it currently and you can download our app here we conduct uh, sessions relevant for cat 2023 where we also talk about vocabulary grammar etc because it's an integral part of your omets so vocabulary grammar logic rcs we cover all these areas on the app as well okay and these are our social media handles you can follow us all right then this is it from my side for today i'll see you tomorrow bye bye